Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. I am Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you all, beloved. I will you are well. I will you are healthy, happy, strong, focused, clear-minded. I will that there has been a big change in your psyche due to the solar eclipse. I hope that it triggered something within you or ignited something within you. It's good energy on my side of things. And uh, I'm hoping to uh, put that energy in this reading. But this is a general reading for all who are new. That means this reading should resonate with you if you have placements in your sun, your moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, as well as Mars. This is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing. Remember, these readings are general. So eat the fish, spit out the bones. Do not try to make a story your story. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, to shine a powerful message for our beloved Scorpios. And I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya, Ashe, to bless me with the ability to intuitively and discerningly pick up on the energies and the vibrations of the cards. I call upon Archangel Uriel, Gabriel, Mikael, to bless me with the first eye to be opened to see all that I need. So Divine Spirit, let's tap and tune in. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. So a couple of cards just flew out. Let me just take a look-see. These are not our messages because I haven't asked. So I see meditate to get it straight, connect, and then we have the number seven. Seven is also this uh, representative of the seventh chakra, which is your crown chakra. So all of these cards are encouraging and promoting you to connect to your higher self. And you can connect to your higher self through meditation, through nature walks, through grounding yourself, going outside. I literally go out and I would sometimes just take my shoes off and walk barefooted out in nature. But there is a need for you all to connect. There is a need for you all to, um, you know, tap in to the energy. Uh, there's a song, Blind Man, that's playing right now and it's 844 on the clock. So that also reduces to seven, which is, again, a number that is a very divine number, uh, but that is the seventh chakra. So listen to your intuition also. Um, there could be someone trying to communicate with you telepathically or even via your dreams. I feel like someone is, um, you know, maybe they're trying to make a judgment call or maybe you're going to need to make a judgment call. But with those messages flopping out, there could be some some need. The divine is telling you that there is a need to tap, you know, to go within Take those internal self audits, self analysis as well. So I'm going to get about three more shuffles and then we're going to cut the deck. And we're going to pull some messages from my channel messages deck. This is my higher frequency channel messages deck. I have two decks. Uh, the other is my first eye channel messages and this is the uh, higher frequency. And then we're going to pull some messages from Tarot. We're going to get a couple of oracle messages from Divine uh Divine uh, Goddess Guidance, uh, Moonology, and Energy Oracle. So let's see what we got, what messages we have from the Divine for our beloved Scorpios. Energy on the bottom of the deck. Attitude of gratitude. So this is about being humble, being thankful. Uh, this is also about showing appreciation. I'm hearing the word appreciation. Um, I feel like a lot of you at this time may need to uh you know utilize more time connecting with spirit connecting with your ancestors through your altars if you have them or even as i said earlier through meditation um just taking that time out to tap in with the energy with your higher self um i feel like there's so much that could come to you when you do that um, not only does it give you an ability to hear instruction but it also allows for you to see uh, some things that you also may need to purge, release, let go, 
So attitude of gratitude. Uh, a lot of you may be uh, very, you know, much in an energy where you should be very humble, you know, very thankful for where you are. Um, attitude of gratitude is also about, you know, just being thankful for making it through the storm, for weathering the storm. Um, because maybe a lot of you have been through a lot. I know uh, when I've been doing these readings for Scorpios, it's literally been showing that you all have been fighting a major, major battle. Uh, but this battle has been more so about, you know, self-discovery, you know, love, self-love, um, self-worth, self-value, uh, about finding one's voice, standing in one's power and setting boundaries, um, delegating when necessary. Uh, and not feeling the need to self-sabotage or overcompensate in your relationships. Uh, so I feel like a lot of you have come out of, you know, those toxic, um, you know, conditions. And this is what the divine wants you to, you know, be thankful for how far you've come, you know. Uh, so we have stopped looking, listening on the bottom of the deck. So there are some things that you may need to pay closer attention to. Um, you know, something that could be hidden in plain sight, something that's happening around you. That's probably why those messages of connect, meditate to get it straight. And the number seven, because this is about tapping into your intuition um, and, you know, being more observant, being more logical, strategizing more. So let's tap in tune and see what other addition, what additional messages we have. So we have power up, sunlight clarity illumination so there is some sort of clarity or some sort of um epiphany that you all may receive maybe the divine is telling you that you know through meditation there will be some discovery some realization or some sort of grand epiphany that you come to i feel like it can deal with emotions or it could just be you know finding some sort of uh, answer to something that may have caused you a lot of confusion at one point in time. Um, this card of power up sunlight, this also speaks to healing. It speaks to strength, all of the things that I was just speaking to. And so we have another life um, playing. So maybe you're becoming um, aware. This is by D'Angelo. So Perhaps you're becoming aware of, you know, the fact that, you know, you have uh, evolved, you know, and, and you're entering into a new cycle of life for yourselves. You've, you've manifested some change, some difference in your lives. I feel like there was some sort of tower moment. So maybe someone that you were with or in a relationship with was living another life, living a double life. And maybe those things have become, you know, apparent during this, you know, moon cycle, during this solar eclipse. And I feel like, you know, the divine wants you to show great uh, gratitude for surviving it, like I said, and weathering the storm. So let's tap in, tune in. Let's see what additional messages. Ooh, so. We have black tourmaline, first card I saw that flew out. So black tourmaline is a card of protection. Black tourmaline, Florida water, Palo Santo, singing bowls and candles. This is a card of protection. So I feel like your angels and guides were letting you know that you were protected, which is why you were able to come into this you know, this uh, information, maybe you've discovered something or something is going to come to light. Uh, the cards that flew out downward, I'm not going to take these cards. I'm going to uh, accept the ones that are in the upright. So let me see here. So we have illusions, delusions, faulty foundation. So this illusions, delusions, faulty foundation card is the tower. So you were protected. Something was going on behind your back. There was a lot of lies and deceptions. Um, that's what I was seeing here with the moon energy that usually speaks to uh, someone hiding things or something being hidden. You not being able to see, you know, everything for what it truly is. Because, you know, the moon, you can only see one side of the moon, the other side is shadow. So I feel like there was a lot of shadow work. Maybe you were going through some sort of dark night of the soul. Um, someone was absolutely uh, being deceptive, you know, in a relationship. They were being promiscuous. They had other relationships and connections um, that they were entertaining on the side. I feel like they lied a lot. Um, they may have made a lot of promises, but didn't keep them. I feel like this person was very, um, 
very much an uh, uh, an addict sexually. Uh, this is someone who would lie to, uh, you know, get whatever they want or to fulfill whatever passionate desires they had. The divine is telling you to keep it pushing forwards, always backwards. Um, you know, forwards ever, backwards never. That's what it's supposed to say. But I have forwards always, backwards never. But um, the divine is also letting you know it's a small thing to a giant. So you needn't stress this. Be thankful that you've been able to survive this. This is almost like that energy of, you know, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I feel like you've become aware with this power up card. You've become stronger. You've taken your power back. And I feel like forgiveness and compassion is also a sign of strength because you're not holding on to, you know, resentment, animosity. I feel like a lot of you were able to accept the apologies that you never received. Perhaps your person, not only did they, uh, did you discover that they were living some sort of double life or were cheating, lying, being deceptive, but this person also may have abandoned you, may not have given you the closure you needed and the divine was protecting you all along because you know what's in the dark is always it comes out till it comes to light and I feel like even though you were in the dark for a long time the divine is who struck this tower there were a lot of deceptions a lot of illusions delusions there was a lot that was going on behind your back and this was the this was by someone that you were in a partnership with, obviously, which is why the divine felt the need to, you know, make these things, um, you know, to put these things uh, in the forefront. But you're also being encouraged not to sweat the small things because there's something greater. I hear there's something greater awaiting you. So let's go ahead, put these cards away. That was a message from my higher frequency. So let's get some messages from Goddess Guidance, and then we're going to tap into the uh, tarot reading. So on the split, we have Nematoma, Sacred Space, create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. And what did I just say, literally? So it's time for you to connect with your higher selves. It's time to connect with even your ancestors, your angels, your spirit team. Because there are, I feel like there are downloads, there are some sort of transmissions that you will receive during this time of connection. I also feel like there's something blossoming behind the scenes. You may not know this, but you could feel it, you could sense it. Being that this is a purple card, uh, this speaks to the crown chakra yet again. So this is why the divine is telling you to tap in, to really, you know, go within, to meditate, to get things straight, to contemplate, so that you can see things more clearer because maybe there is a lot of distraction around you and when we take those times to go within it literally is so that we could receive the downloads and so i feel like the divine is wanting to give you some downloads it says you are not uh, you are just getting started excuse me so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up so this is about you you know staying the course and being steadfast so divine spirit of love and light let's see what we got here Divine Spirit of Love and Light. And we have Tiana Taylor playing. Um, I can't remember the name of the song. So let's tap in. All right. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy. And so we have undying love. So we have someone that you may be in some sort of uh, separation with, but there is a deeper, more profound connection. It says the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So this feels like you're in separation, as I said, of someone that you have a love um, with. And the song that's playing is Tiana Taylor, Hold On. 
Um, so I feel like, you know, this co connection could be like a twin flame. This could be a soulmate or this could involve some sort of past life connection. Um, you are very beautiful. You are very attractive. I feel like a lot of you are tapping into your creativity, into your divine femininity. Uh, we know that a woman's divinity is creation. So a lot of you could be pregnant. You could be birthing new ideas, birthing new styles, um, new creative ways of thinking. Um, but I do feel that there's a lot of attraction surrounding you. Uh, I feel like you are in your power right now. I just feel a very powerful energy surrounding you, Scorpios, whether masculine or feminine. Um, I just feel like you've taken the reins of your life and you're in control. Um, but there is a love ship that is in separation. And with Tiana, play, Tiana Taylor playing, saying, hold on, hold on, don't let me go. I feel like there is, you know, someone that you may have uh, set some sort of boundary. You may have walked away from. They may have walked away from you. But the divine is saying that this love is eternal. And whatever you all may have experienced, um, this was something that was preordained. It was already foretold. And it was a part of your karmic destiny to go through this cycle with this person. Um, I feel like there's ascension when you get through it and you get past it. Um, perhaps there is someone else that you could be attracting that could be your uh, divine masculine, divine feminine, the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. Um, I feel like there is a desire and an undying love that you have found and discovered also within yourselves. And I feel like you are very happy at this time. I feel like you've healed, you've grown um, through whatever this process was. That's why you had attitude of gratitude because it's, this card shows a lot of flowers, a lot of plant, and that is the energy of life. That is the energy of, you know, being grounded, being in alignment. Um, and I feel like a lot of you have found your power by healing. You know, when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. And when you learn to love thyself, that means that you know thyself because you now know what you desire, what you don't desire, what you require in a relationship. So let's tap in tune and see what else we got. Give me one moment. My kitten is being badass as usual. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. So let's tap in tune in. So we have um, large professor playing the sun. So Again, remember that card, clarity, illumination, power up. That sun represents not only the light, but the truth, illumination, clarity. It represents power. It represents strength. It's a food source for us. So I feel like <clears throat> there's going to be <clears throat> perhaps some clarity about a love person. So, I mean, a love partner. Um, so my throat chakra just got a little closed up. So maybe there will be some, uh, communication. Someone's a little choked up. I'm hearing, uh, someone doesn't really know how to approach the situation. So let's go ahead, tap in. Let's see what additional messages you have from the goddess guidance deck Scorpios. I will all as well. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for tapping in. We have go outside. So I feel like in order for you to get some sort of clarity or truth, there's a need for you to step outside, get out in nature. You've been indoors for too long. And when you get out in nature, a lot of things come to light. I feel like just being amongst the trees, the plants, earth, nature, it really brings a lot of illumination, a lot of clarity. And it also brings some things to your attention that you may not have been able to, you know, tap into had you not been amongst the, you know, the trees. The trees are a powerful source of information. Um, they also represent protection and strength. So I feel like getting out in nature is going to be very helpful in allowing you to see something clearly. This moon, this little, you know, crescent moon is on her first eye. So I feel there's a need to see, um, you know, some things that have to do with perhaps your healing, you know, the heart chakra. These are both the colors of the heart chakra, the pink and the green. So, you know, we have undying love and then go outside. So maybe there will be some clarity as to who your love, your true love. Maybe some of you are torn. Maybe some of you are confused um, as to who your partner is or whether or not there should be um, reconciliation. And I feel like if you get out in nature, there's going to be some sort of clarity uh, granted. We have golden opportunities here. This is another green card. Uh, this is the beautiful uh, Mama Yemenya, uh, and she's speaking to you having golden opportunities that are going to present themselves. Uh, but you have to walk through the doors. So in order for you to walk through the doors, you're going to have to be in tune. 
You're going to have to know when to move. You're going to have to know, you know, it's all about timing, divine timing. So you have to be receptive to whatever information is coming in because I feel like there's, you know, there's, there's change that is abound, obviously. And the divine is wanting to bring balance, restore balance. This also could represent love, healing, passion, joy, success, and abundance. So let's see what else we have. What additional messages you have for Scorpios from the Goddess Guidance Deck, Divine Spirit? What additional messages do you have? Thank you, Spirit. So what did I say about a past life love? So you are um, in what I am hearing in my mind's eye is twin flame uh, connection. I feel like you know uh, without knowing. It's just like maybe when you met this person, the two of you, there was just this energy that locked you in. Uh, the chemistry was crazy. And I feel like the situation that you're in, which is why the divine is telling you and encouraging you to get outside, because maybe there will be uh, an ability to see things for what it truly is. But you are in some sort of twin flame connection, or maybe this is someone that you have been in a relationship with that you have some sort of soul tie. And um, yeah, your memories, your past life memories, the sun, I cannot hide that like the sun card keeps creeping up, showing up. So and then the song Sun is playing by Professor, um, Large Professor. So there is illumination and clarity that's coming in. All right. So that's interesting. And then we have Bridget, don't back down. So it's time for you to, you know, stand your ground, you know, get a backbone because maybe some of you have been avoiding making this decision. You have to stand up for what you believe is right. You have to do what's going to be true to you. A lot of you have been doing a whole lot of healing. We have shook ones playing by Bob D. <laughs> so this is very fitting in terms of standing your ground. Um, you know, not being a shook one, not being someone afraid, not being someone who is passive in this situation. It's time for you to stand up for what is right for you. This green chakra also, rep I mean, this green also represents that heart chakra. So this is about, I hear, I'm hearing self-love. So you have to do what's going to um, represent love. And the divine is saying, you know what to do with Diana here or Dana, excuse me, high priestess. Uh, you have the divine knowledge and you know exactly what you need to do. I feel like a lot of you are intuitives, clairvoyance, clairaudience, psychics. You have the ability to tap in. And that's why those cards were encouraging you to do so. So you have the answers that you're seeking. You got to trust your inner knowledge. This, is, this has everything to do with cleansing, with purging, with releasing um, what no longer serves you. And sometimes, um, well, not even sometimes, but in this case, it seems like who no longer serves you as well. So let's go ahead. All right. This is very interesting, Scorpios. I love reading with you for you all because we, we are some very complex creatures, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> to say the least so it's already 23 minutes in so on the split of the moonology card we have your commitment is being tested and then balanced spirituality and practicality so this is very interesting balanced spirituality and practicality and then this card fell out your commitment is being tested so i feel like um perhaps like i said this is sounding more and more like there is a partnership, a connection, some sort of soulmate, twin flame connection. You all are in separation. And I feel like in, you know, there's a part of you that wants to walk away because of, you know, whatever has transpired in the relationship. I feel like the divine is telling you and encouraging you in order for you to know what's going to be best for you. You need to separate yourself from the distractions and go within that requires meditation that requires going out in nature sitting amongst the trees breathing in some fresh good ass prana that is going to allow for you to see things more clearly your first eye will open up maybe a lot of you your you know pineal glands are decal you know are calcified and you might need to step out in some sunlight so that you could see things clearly so that it could heal you so that it could give you the clarity that you need but i am sensing also that a lot of you are imbalanced um you're trying to be practical um, but maybe your spiritual belief system is inhibiting you from doing something that 
may be practical for you to do. So that's why it's really important to connect with your higher self and to, you know, separate yourselves, go into hermit mode um, so that you could get the answers, seek the answers that you are um, that you are needing at this time. So we have a runaway. Let's see what this card is. Yeah, look, sun card flew out again. If the, I have a feeling the sun card is going to come out during your reading. Because this is like the third or fourth time. So we have a new romantic cycle begins. So there's a new cycle. And what was I just saying? You know, there's a decision that you're going to have to make about a past love. Because I am sensing that there is, you know, some connection or some relationship that is developing. And I feel like this love is going to bring balance. It's going to... Um, it's going to trigger something in you. That's interesting. Balance spirituality. And then it's saying it's referencing balancing. So spirituality and practicality. So maybe something within your belief system where you're, you know, you maybe someone from your past wants to return and maybe that person, um, was guilty of infidelities. You maybe have discovered that person was being, um, was being promiscuous or cheating and so now you may feel like you can't trust this person and the divine is saying that you have to balance the spiritual aspect of it along with the practical aspect so it's like if you are in a spiritual or soul tie with someone that defies time you know what i'm saying then maybe you have to rethink or you have to uh address the situation more you know different than you would have in the past. So maybe there is a need for you to kind of like, um, that's why they're encouraging you to go within because I feel like the way that you're perceiving this connection or the way that you're uh, perceiving the relationship as a whole, you know, maybe there was, um, you know, maybe there was separation due to your inability to trust someone due to a deception or someone betrayed your trust. I feel like the divine is saying that, you know, you forgiveness you know forgiveness is key uh it's also speaking to not overlooking the other aspects of the relationship looking beyond perhaps the the issues the problems but look at the entire relationship as a whole you know we have feeling i replaying by gregory um gregory isaacs so, so let's tap in. Let's see. Let's see what we got. You know, it's too soon. So the land spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? You and your loved ones are safe. Your dreams need a practical plan. Land spirit of love and light. The energy is gaining momentum. A new start is coming. So, yeah, something's coming quickly. I feel like someone is approaching. I feel like someone's entering your life, and I'm strongly feeling like you're going to have to choose between two people. This is the energy I'm sensing. I feel like, you know, you have a past life connection with someone. You may have, you know, a new love that's coming in. And something is, a decision is going to be required between these two people. All right, I feel good with that. So let's go ahead, cut the deck. Bottom of the deck, we have a new romantic cycle is beginning. So you have new love coming in and there's a past love that you're going to have to leave, period. That's what I'm sensing from this. And the divine is telling you to look at the bigger picture. So the bigger picture may be that you want to feel iry. <laughs> you know, you want to feel all right. You, you tired of the stress, the aggravation, the drama, the trauma that it may have triggered within you. Um, you've gone through the process of healing. I feel like there's clarity necessary. There's a need for you to go within, to tap into your higher self, to take those internal self audits, to introspect, to reflect, to gain some sort of self analysis. And, you know, and you're going to come to the grand epiphany that it's time for new love. It's time for, you know, for you to experience love in a healthy way so let's tap in let's see let's get i'm hearing three messages we're going to pull three messages from moonology divine spirit of love and light what messages you have for our beloved scorpios thank you spirit so i got 
the three right there. So prosperity lies ahead, and it's actually four. So you have abundance coming in. There's a lot of rewards, recognition. Something that you're doing is paying off. Look at that. Your hard work is paying off. So a lot of you have been, and that's why you had the attitude of gratitude, because I did feel, I sensed, you know, intuitively that you all have come out of a cycle. The divine is telling you believe in the impossible. So there's wish fulfillment coming in as well. I feel like there's something you've been praying for, something that you've been waiting for. You know, maybe you've all been like sending up prayers, petitions, and uh, something is absolutely materializing. It's coming into fruition here, but it's something you've worked for. This isn't just coming because you're special. This is coming because you've worked for it. Confidence is key. So be confident. You know, that lion, that's about strength. That's about uh, power. You know, this is knowing that you are the leader, taking the reins of your life and moving in the direction you desire to go. But this is an energy of assertiveness. And this is also about standing in your power, standing in your truth, speaking up for yourself, not backing down. Remember that energy of not backing down. Uh, so you have to do what's going to bring you happiness. Uh, we have candy rain. So I feel like someone that is going to be super sweet on you um, and you're going to be super sweet on them is absolutely uh, making their way to you. So let's get some messages from Energy Oracle deck. And remember, we had that sun card on the bottom. We got the sun and the moon. Look at that. So this is that solar eclipse energy right there. Truth is coming to light. Whatever was hidden is coming to light. This 52 reduces to 7. So maybe you knew intuitively something was going on. You knew that there was some sort of secrets. You had some sort of, you know, like inkling that something was happening in regards to love, emotions, feelings. Um, and I feel like there's going to be some sort of truth. Maybe someone is going to reveal that they have some sort of love towards you because we have candy rain playing. So you are my love. Do you ever think of candy coated raindrops? So yes, yeah, someone is going to be expressing some sort of emotion. There's going to be some clarity, some truth. Something that has been hidden, someone has been hiding this. And remember, oh wow, look what flipped and then look what's showing up. This is the door to romance. So there's absolutely a new romantic cycle that is uh, developing for you all, Scorpios. And um, there's also prosperity awaiting you as well. So let's tap in. Let's go ahead, try the shuffling again. I literally just Palo Santoed all of my cards. Uh, because I could feel the energy, the heaviness of the cards. So, yeah, there, there was heartbreak due to lies. Someone, you know, keeping secrets. I feel like a lot of you had been um, in a relationship where you felt brokenhearted. But I feel like you healed from that. And that's why you're now triggering new love to come in. Because a lot of you have already healed. You've already, you know, like I said in the beginning, you've, you know, it, you've accepted the apology that was never given to you, you know. And um, and that's what you have to do when you are responsible, you know, when you show responsibility for your own or your not even responsibility. But when you take accountability for your own healing, you know, um, you have to forgive those who have never apologized. You have to be compassionate. You have to show forgiveness because the forgiveness is truly for you so that you're not stuck, you know, or bound to something that has transpired. See that? So what was I saying earlier about you needing to make a decision? This is that Eight of Swords. So this Eight of Swords, there's going to be a decision between a past love and a new love. And this 37 here represents the th solar plexus. You're going to have to be strong, beloved. That 37 is the sunlight that's within you. So that sunlight within you is what's triggering you to do what's going to be beneficial and best for you in terms of love. This is also a 37. That 37 reduces to the number 10. So you have to take your power back and you're going to have to, um, you're not, you, you can't back down from this. You're going to have to make a decision. Archangel Shamuel is telling you to, it's time to take your power back. You see how he's holding this power. It's time for you to stand in your power, to stand direct, because there's going to be a decision that's necessary. You're going to have to make a decision. So these cards flew out. I didn't. So let's get a couple more shuffles and then we'll cut the deck. 
Oh, the spirit of love and light. I just saw that romance again. Someone that's your yin yang, twin flame, soulmate. Remember undying love. Remember past life. There is someone that is in harmony with you emotionally that's coming in. This person's going to speak the same love language. They're going to have the key to your heart. They're going to excite or, in, you know, bring some sort of joy to your life. Excitement. See this? This is where you were. You were stuck, afraid, needing to make a decision, waiting for some change. But you can't wait for change. You have to create the change. You have to be the change. And so this is like almost being coddled, being comfortable. But are you content? Are you happy? No, because there's a whole world out there that you're just imagining what it's like. And it's like, go out there, brave your light. We have stayed a little wild child playing by uh, loose ends. And uh, you're like, no, it's time to end, end this cycle. So, yeah, there's, there's a decision that you're making. This 29 reduces to 11. 11 is a power number. It's also a powerful angelic number. It's also, you know, an opening for you to receive downloads and transmissions. I feel like I was saying earlier that there is something that is igniting within you in regards to your happiness, your joy, your peace. And I feel like you're making a decision to end a cycle, to end a karmic cycle when you get to this world card, when this card shows up in a reading, that means that you have reached a level of self-mastery, that you have also become very spiritually strong and illuminated, that you've learned to navigate, you know what I'm saying, these different relationships, these different experiences, and you've mastered them all. So it's time for you to now, you know, take the reins. Like I said, Archangel Mikael is here and Archangel Mikael is a powerful angel that works in that root chakra which rules over scorpio so he holds this sword and this sword is not only a sword to cut you free from anyone that's you're karmically tied to but this is also a sword of truth this is a sword of illumination of clarity and so he is releasing you from whatever confusion or whatever it was that was keeping you mentally conflicted, whatever mind fuckery that you may have been bound to due to someone's deceptions, lies, gaslighting, you are now in a space where you have the ability to see things clearly. And, you know, whatever confusion you were in, you're no longer there. You're going to make a decision to walk away. And Archangel Mikael, I feel, is encouraging you to leave something. Someone is trying to encourage you to stay, but Archangel Mikael is telling you to leave because you already know what that situation is blocking. And it's blocking your peace. It's blocking your happiness. When you end that cycle, you end that karmic cycle where you were being drained energetically through some sort of energy vampire, through someone who... Uh, you know, may not have been as emotionally intelligent, someone who's immature, someone who is kind of like, you know, they were brought into your life to trigger change in you, to help you to, uh, you know, showcase that you have some sort of self-love, self-respect, to teach you how to love yourselves, to, to care for yourselves first and foremost, to not overcompensate, to learn to delegate, to learn to ask for what you need and not feel the need to self-sabotage in a relationship because you're trying to appease someone or hold on to someone because you're in a toxic codependent relationship. You've learned a lot, you know, and you are, uh, you know, at some sort of space in time where you realize what you deserve and you're ready to leave this cycle of life behind because you know that there's something beautiful awaiting you. And so when you come to this epiphany that you deserve more, the divine opens up that door to personal healing and happiness because you've chosen yourself. And not only do you have that door to personal healing and happiness waiting for you, but you also have this door to value. So you've discovered your worth and your value in this process. So the world card flipped back out. So this is your message. Someone is trying to prevent you from leaving because it flew out in reverse. So someone's trying to hold on to you. And remember, we have loose ends, stay a little while playing. So someone wants you to stay a little while. And that little while is like, are you serious? Because you may have been in the relationship for up to 10 years, 15, 20 for some of you. And now they talk about stay a little while longer and stay a little while longer for what? I feel like you've created distance. There's distance between you and this person as well. We're going to keep this card here because this flew out. So that is what your cycle is, is you've completed one. You've ended a cycle. 
So congratulations. When you complete a cycle, you get to that world card. That's the last card of the major arcana. That speaks to all of the major changes and transformations and all of the cycles. We saw that broken heart card. So we know that you've been broken hearted. We know that you've been betrayed. We know that you've learned so many valuable lessons. But through this process, it has brought you to a sense of spiritual illumination, self-mastery, understanding who you are. You also have the ability to have a brand new start. And now in this new cycle of life, you will be able to create, you know, the, the, the life that you envision for yourselves. So that's powerful. Look at that. What did I say? The sun card was going to come out. So this is the ending of that toxicity. And this is the beginning of that new, happy, joyful, beautiful, loving, successful, abundant cycle. This is a beautiful omen, man. I, I can't make this up. So the sun showed up after all. So there's a new beginning here. This represents you healing, cleaning, clearing, cleansing, purging, releasing what no longer serves you. We have Jill Scott slowly, surely. And she said, slowly, surely, I walk away from that old dazed love caught up in the maze of love. The crazy craze of love thought it was good thought it was real, thought it was, but it wasn't love. See that? And that's why this one, this sun card is here. So there's a new beginning. There's a new romantic cycle that's beginning because you now realize your worth and your value. You realize what you deserve and more importantly, what you desire, what your spirit yearns for is what you are going to answer. That's the call you all are going to answer Scorpios. You're not going to allow someone to hold you back from what you truly deserve. This is beautiful. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So what additional messages we have for our beloved Scorpios from the Energy Oracle deck? Uh, right. And we have action. So there is action. There is some sort of action. And remember, we was picking up on that energy action played earlier, if I'm not mistaken, or am I confusing it with another time? <laughs> but there is some sort of action. So there's movement here that that number 17 reduces the eight, eight turns into the infinity symbol. There is a black and white horse. So this is yin yang. So this is about balance. Once you find balance in oneself, once you find that equilibrium, then you can take action. It's sort of like the chariot. You have to be balanced. You have to be able to take the reins, take lead. You have to be able to control the, you know, those, those powerful horses to get them to move in the desired direction. This is about assertiveness. This is about clarity. But this is also about balancing the energy. And look what's here. Yin yang. Yin yang is the card of balance, stability, structure. This is the energy right here that you all are in. Someone may be um, literally planning an, an escape, planning how to walk away from a connection because some of you may have some sort of investments in a relationship. We see here, you know, this, there's financial constraints. So a lot of you could be struggling financially, trying to figure out how to make this thing work, how to materialize this change because you know that, um, you know, the relationship isn't working out for you anymore. So a lot of you are planning, you're preparing and the divine is saying, you're going to strategize. You're going to get this together. And this 13, even though it looks grim, there's financial constraints. You're going to find that stability. The sun shines a light on everything. It improves everything. This represents success and stability, wish fulfillment coming in as well. And a lot of you are strategizing and planning a way to come out of a toxic connection. I feel like your angels are telling you to strategize, let them take care of the rest. You just move in the desired direction or you make the effort to move in that direction and all else will be taken care of. And uh, look at this, listen to your intuition. This is Archangel Uriel. So she's giving you the downloads, the clarity that you need so that you can figure out that strategy, that mean and that method to take action, to make that, you know, necessary step in the right direction, beloveds. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. So let's tap and tune into the reading. We're going to pull uh, energy for the energy surrounding the situation, how your person feels in their emotion, how they feel about you, what's hidden in the energies and the 
the um, outcome. We're going to use the hoodoo voodoo ta um, hoodoo ta uh, hoodoo tarot deck. I could not say that. So we got the four of um, sticks along with the king of pentacles. So what did I say about a new cycle of new romantic cycle coming in? And this is a twin flame. This is a twin flame with this uh, 1111 card. So the two of you are uh, definitely got to be optimistic. Yeah, I feel like the two of you are definitely coming into union. And if you are doubting this, we have uh, sounds of blackness telling you to be optimistic about your future. Because things are working out behind the scenes. Just because you can't see what's going on doesn't mean it's not happening. A lot of you may feel like you've been waiting and waiting, but trust the seeds that you have planted will harvest. Remember, you have prosperity that lies ahead, beloved. And someone is coming in with a message of love. This is new love blossoming, new love coming in. You just got to trust the process, be optimistic. I feel like there's healing that was necessary. As soon as I said healing, look what's there, the four of swords. So there was a lot of healing that was necessary. In order for someone to come to you, maybe your person was also healing, was also going through some sort of uh, journey. And you two are meeting in divine timing. Look at that. There was a devil in the midst. This devil represents toxicity, faulty belief systems, addictions, afflictions, someone who is dysfunctional. Some of you could have been in a false flame union. Someone kept you waiting. You was waiting for change, waiting for someone to take action, waiting for someone to come towards you. But I feel like you're no longer waiting. You're going to move and you're going to do what you have to do to bring forth your happiness. This is an energy of waiting and waiting. You invested a lot in whatever that relationship was and this person never came. What they did was they stood you up or they just abandoned you altogether. There was lies, deception. This is why they never came, because they were living some sort of double life. You never really fully knew this person. Never really fully knew what they had going on. It caused a lot of imbalance, instability. But the divine is saying in divine timing, things shall be restored. And we do see that here with the yin-yang card. Balance was restored because you have yin-yang. So something that was unstable, unstable, excuse me, has since been restored. So let's cut this deck. Bottom of the deck is going to be the energy surrounding the situation. And so we have King of Cups. You have a King of Cups coming in. King of Cups represents love, represents a deep love. This could be someone from your past. This could be someone coming in from your future. He's falling right underneath. A new romantic cycle begins. So this person, they may not express their love, but they feel very deeply. This is uh, the King of Cups, so this is someone who's very uh, empathic, very intuitive, very psychic. And I feel like this person, perhaps you've been waiting for this person because this is the match. This is your match. This is your divine masculine. This also could be your energy. You could be in that masculine energy if you are a feminine energy. But there is love surrounding the situation. I feel like there's your guards are up. You know, because of all the pain you've been through, you see all of these, you know, skulls behind her. These are all the people that she's had to leave behind, that she's ended partnerships with, cut the soul ties with. That represents people who she's loved, people she's given chance after chance. And now she's saying, what's better protection, God or guns? She's still got fight in her. She's not going to allow anyone to come in and toy with her feelings or her emotions or even waste her time. So this is definitely an energy of setting boundaries and not backing down, fighting for what you believe in. And in her uh, case, she's fighting for self-love, self-respect. You know, she's given so much to people only to be mistreated, only to be taken for granted. And so I feel like with this energy here, there is, you know, some sort of boundary or guard that is up. And I feel like in order for love to come in, you do have to kind of let your guard down a little. You can't fault their past person or you can't fault any new person, potential love interest coming in for something a past person did. So divine spirit, how does uh, the person Scorpio is attracting? How do they feel in their emotions towards Scorpio? Divine is telling you to be optimistic about new love. 
about reconnecting with love because I'm sensing twin flame. So in order for you to have a twin flame, I get a sense that you've met this person already. In some cases, you may not have met them and you may just bump into them and it's just like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? Because the chemistry and, and, and that um, synergy the two of you share is so profound that it feels like you've known them. That's why we had the past life card, undying love. You know, this situation involves, you know, whatever the card read, I forgot. But um, the, it, yeah, the, uh, the love you shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. That was the energy. So it's like, you know, maybe you are in separation. So let's see, how does the person Scorpio's attract and feel in their emotions to a Scorpio? That card wanted to come out, but it didn't. And we have rock this funky joint. <laughs> oh, shoot. They want to rock this. Divine spirit. How does the person Scorpio's attract and feel in their emotions? Thank you, spirit. So they're feeling broken hearted, you know, due to the separation. Someone is absolutely feeling broken hearted. Uh, maybe they've gone through some sort of painful ending. Uh, they were going through, like I said, their dark night of the soul as well. And, you know, there's a reason why there's indecision here. Uh, confusion because they were not listening. Um, they did not listen to their intuition, maybe in relation to uh, their connection with you or maybe even in the relationship they were in. I feel like they now... Uh, you know, have started to, they've begun to, you know, tap into their intuition to meditate, to get some things straight. Uh, but I am sensing that, you know, there's regret on someone's side, you know, for a decision they chose for going in a different direction. But I do feel someone is coming in very quickly. Um, the char the ro railroad bill is the chariot card. So this is someone coming in in an accelerated rate that may be at a distance from you. We have the five of coins, the five of baskets right underneath that. So there is deep regret because it's obvious that someone rejected one lover to go in the direction of another lover. And I feel like that person that they rejected felt abandoned, felt left out in the cold. This could be your energy or this could be their energy. I feel like there was someone who walked away, you know, and just completely ghosted this person or detached or disconnected entirely because they felt like they were giving to a connection. They put so much, invested so much love and energy, uh, you know, in time. Um, an effort, more importantly, into a connection, but nothing uh, resulted. There was no result. There was nothing that blossomed from it. So they felt uh, pretty much like, you know, they've they've made some sort of indecision here. We see here the Queen of Cups. There goes your energy. So I feel like this person may want to return. Um, they may want to come back around. Uh, because they're realizing, you know, that you were very loving. Look at this big smile on the Queen of Cups face and this Eight of Cups. He's moving in her direction. It's like he's walking out of a home. So maybe someone you're attracting, Scorpio, is was already in a partnership. That partnership broke them. And they're looking back to when they should have chosen you. Because you may have offered to love them. You may have wanted a more deeper connection. And they rejected you because we see here clearly the five of coins. So they chose someone else. And in choosing that other person, they realize now, of course, you know, how they're feeling in their emotions. Broken hearted, you know, feeling like a fool because maybe someone, um, maybe they realized that their person was cheating, you know, or had someone else that they were dealing with. So this person's ready to take action, ready to be assertive, to come towards you. They've made a decision or they're making a decision, listening to their intuition on what they need to do or how they need to strategize to come towards you um, because they realize that they are um, they're happiest with you, that they feel alive, they feel seen, they feel balanced. And more importantly, they feel like you are the yang to their yin, the yin to their yang. They feel like there's a deeper, more profound connection. I feel like for whatever reason, um, your person, you know, maybe they had uh, some sort of financial ties with this past person because if they were living with this person, then there were bills that could have been in their name and, you know, perhaps separating was more difficult to do. So they are afraid or fearing some sort of financial constraints, uh, maybe living um, on their own could be more costly, you know, uh, opposed to shacking with somebody, 
but we shall see what comes in. So how does this person, person that Scorpio is attracting feel about Scorpio? Okay, I see a card in the upright here. Look at this. What did I say? So they're, they're ready to take action. They've made a decision. He's looking in a direction that he is desiring to go, and it's a forward direction. It's not looking back at the past any longer. This is someone ready to take action. This is someone who's ready to follow their passions. This is someone who feels very deeply, is a deep emotional feeling, emotional tie. Mm. So, and I feel like the divine is telling me to lay this here also. So we're going to get another card. We have the Ace of Sticks. So this person wants a new start, a new beginning. And this is also like wish fulfillment. The divine is handing a new opportunity. And remember, we have a new cycle of romance begins. So how does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? And how does this person that Scorpio is attracting feel about our beloved Scorpio? How does the person Scorpio is attracting feel about Scorpio? So two cards came out. And the real thing is playing by Jill Scott. Can't make this up. They feel like you're the real thing. That you give real love. Aunt Caroline represents cycle of life. This is the fortune card. The wheel of fortune. So there's a turning point in this connection. And there's a turning point because this person is coming back to have a new start. To reconcile. They know they made a mistake. They realize that you are the real thing. They want a new beginning. They have a lot of passion. This is someone who thinks and desires you sexually desires being with you intimately and you're going to have to make a judgment call because perhaps this person the way they left in the past we know they rejected you but maybe it hurts them to know that they hurt you they want a new start something come has come around full circle i feel like this was a karmic lesson there was something that your person had to learn and something you two had to learn and you've both learned the lesson and so now this person is returning. This is a part of destiny. This is a part of, you know, um, something faded that's meant to happen. I also feel like with this prosperity lies a head card. It's also letting you know that there is some sort of windfall of money, abundance, stability. This is wish fulfillment. This is success. So this is beautiful. So this is going to shock you when this person returns saying they want a new start. They're already looking in your direction. So what's hidden in the energy for Scorpio and their person? Look at this. You are the divine feminine. So you are very fertile at this time. So be careful if you don't want to uh, get pregnant. But I also feel like this person sees you as their divine feminine, sees you as wifey material. They're very attracted to you. They find you to be very powerful, strong, wise, creative, loving, nurturing, practical, domestic, talented, grounded. They feel like you would ground them. They feel like you're a master manifester. This person is super attracted to you. And I feel like there's abundance all around you. We have prosperity lies ahead. Your hard work is paying off. So a lot of you have maintained your self-respect and your dignity. And we do see with this world card, as I said, that's a level of self-mastery. This big queen embodies and encompasses all of the queens. Um, so she has all of the characteristics and attributes as the divine, um, as all of the queens, excuse me. The death card, which is, I'm sorry, the ancestors card, which is the death card, is on the bottom of the deck. So this represents the changes, the transformations, all of the difficult cycles that you've had to overcome in your relationships and you coming out stronger and wiser. This is the epitome of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And more importantly, this shows that your ancestors, your spirit guides, your ancestors, um, your deities, excuse me, your spirit team have been watching over you. So you have reached this level of self-mastery and you know your worth, you know your value, and you're no longer settling. And this is what you are now in this energy where you're listening to your intuition and you're going to do what's best for you moving forward because maybe in the past you self-sabotaged. We have, um, he's gaming on you. So that's what brought you to the space of now loving thyself, knowing your worth and practicing healthy self-care is because you knew that in the past you was dealing with a player. So we have the ancestors. You've ended and deaded that relationship, that situationship, and you're moving in a different direction. You're moving towards real love because that person in the past was deceptive. And I feel like they were lying to themselves 
lying to you. This person wore a false mask. They were sneaking around. And this was someone who was definitely playing a lot of games. But I feel like you have new love that's coming in. This is not just any love. This is a spiritual union. This is someone that your angels and ancestors, their angels and ancestors, are conspiring behind the scene to bring this union into fruition. So what is the uh, outcome for our beloved Scorpios? What is the outcome? But I do feel like a lot of you could be very creative. You could be entrepreneurs. You could be starting businesses. So the outcome is the five of sticks. There's going to be a lot of combativeness, envy, gossip, lies, people just gossiping and talking because they have lips, whispering behind your back because you've chosen yourself. This is something most narcissists will to choose to do when they can't take you down. You know, what they'll do is they'll resort to gossiping and trying to defame, defame your character. But you're not bothered. You got your back turned to the bullshit. You're like, pardon my back <laughs> and watch me, you know, watch me fly high. These people are jealous. They're envious. The five of knives is here. So there's going to be a lot of gossip surrounding you. But you are the divine feminine. And the he's gaming on you is playing while we're speaking about this with by um, salt and pepper. So the five and five, you can't trust what this person is coming in to say. This is someone who tries to win at all costs. This is someone who's intentionally spiteful. Someone who had you caught up in, um, you know, some sort of where you were being um, in a you, like you were in a competition for this person's time and energy. This is someone who would just lie through their teeth. Someone who would speak with forked tongues, wasn't honest. Someone who would lie to get what they need. The daughter of sticks is here. So this is very flighty, in and out, unreliable. This is someone who's that player from the Himalaya. <laughs> someone who likes to manipulate to get what they want because they don't have the confidence or the emotional intelligence to just be honest and plant transparent. You already, you know, have a heads up because you are highly intuitive. So you're not fooling. You're not going to be easily fooled or duped. You're looking right at these people. The five and five represents chain, you know, some sort of challenges, some sort of changes that are uh, developing. But I feel like, you know, with these two fives, those reduce to ten. And you're being told that he's gaming on you. So you are the Empress, indeed, because the Empress is on the bottom of the clarifying deck. Divine Feminine, you know your worth and value. You're highly intuitive. You're a master manifester. And I feel like, you know, like I said, there's going to be a decision that you're having to make between a new love and a true love. You know, I mean, a new love and a past love. Because that past person is coming back just saying what they think they need to say to get what they want. Look at this. The divine is telling you to end this cycle. The world card is here. The word came out twice. The beginning, the end and the beginning, all in one. This is what this is uh, speaking to. Light, Lighters Up is playing by Little Kim. So the light represents clarity. So know when it's time to end something. Every ending denotes a new beginning. All right. So it's time to end that past love. You see how this, this uh, King of Cups is looking to the past. He's not looking forward. He's looking backwards. So the divine is saying, end that past relationship. You may love that person, forgive them, but move forward because that connection is not healthy for you. There's something that is greater, which awaits for you. There's a new romantic cycle that the divine wishes to give to you. And your person is going to be all broken hearted because you're moving forward. You're moving forward. You've taken your power back. You're taking the reins of your life. You're in control now. This is someone who is, has balance. This is Twin Flame Energy Chariot card yet again. Cancerian Energy. So why is the Three of Knives here for how the person Scorpio is attracting feels in their emotions? Why is this Three of Knives here? Thank you, Spirit. Because they're overwhelmed, overburdened. They're stressed out. They, nothing is going right in their lives. I feel like they felt betrayed, used, abandoned devalued mistreated they discovered someone they loved was cheating on them and they invested everything they don't have enough help they're not getting the help they need they're carrying all of the burdens on their own so this is an energy of you know also not being in communication with someone that they care for being almost in um, isolation 
but they're they've reached the end of the road i feel like this ten of wands is just speaking to you know the burden speaking to the disappointment speaking to you know how much that they've been through and so you know this 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 heartbreak really caused a lot of pain and stress on your person here but um i feel like they're at the end because this 10 reduces to the one so this is going to give them that ace of wands that we have here which is um how they're feeling towards you so that ace of wands that's going to give them that passion back that fire and they're going to be able to take action see that page of cups so they are healing they're starting the process of healing and they're also you know restoring their belief in love you know so they're going to offer something new so how does this person scorpio's attract and feel about scorpio your person absolutely, along with you, have both been through, through some very painful karmic cycles. And this was necessary so that both of you could come together whole. So we have the Two of Swords. So they're up in their head trying to decide how to you know, come towards you, what to do. This is that strategy energy of trying to strategize. This is also like listening to one's intuition making a head over heart decision, doing what's logical, you know, this is also listening to, you know, their higher selves in terms of love. There is a lot of passion. This person is looking towards you. This person is absolutely looking towards you. There is emotion there with that water as well as the moon, something they may have been hiding and they're now realizing it. And with lighters up, put your lighters up. This person is realizing, gaining the clarity they need. They got the Ace of Cups here. So they realize that there is love. They feel deeper than they initially even knew. They're realizing that this is true love. This is a new opportunity to offer love. Just like the Divine said, a new romantic cycle begins. This is the new romantic cycle right here. Something beautiful that is developing here for you all. And um, with this Ace of Sticks, this is going to be passionate. It's going to be loving. It's going to be powerful is what I'm sensing. And these are new beginnings, new opportunities that the divine is gifting you and your person because you both have been through the ringer. You both have been through the ringer. And we got the temperance. See, balance was necessary along with divine timing. Patience is also a form of action. So the two of you needed to heal one another. You, I mean, you had to heal yourselves to come towards one another. You had to find your own emotional equilibrium in order to you know to to come together because remember you had the undying love and don't back down past life love and these are cards telling you that your twin flame is approaching you is here and we have something something playing by maxwell so i feel like the two of you are going to feel a little something something and it's going to be magical it's going to be explosive i'm hearing that dr dre and um explosive West Coast shit. Like, I, I just heard Explosive and then I heard that song by Dr. Dre. So why is Ace of Sticks here for how Scorpio's, the person Scorpio is attracted and feels about Scorpio? Why is the Ace of Sticks here for the person that Scorpio is attracted and how they feel about Scorpio? Why is the Ace of Sticks here for the person Scorpio is attracting? Thank you, Spirit. And we have the Eight of Swords. So they're up in their head. Mental confusion, confliction, anxiety. So they know they have to do something. They know they have to take action. So they was a little confused. How they feel about you is they feel like, you know, maybe they feel you're trapped mentally. Maybe they feel like you're confused or maybe they feel like you will be confused. You won't really know what to choose or what to do. Let me get one more message to clarify that. The Ten of Pentacles. So maybe with this Ten of Pentacles, they're confused because maybe there was a family dynamic, you know, Maybe they were involved in a family dynamic or maybe they're confused because what they're des de desiring is to have this family dynamic, is to have this financial contentment, this financial security, this emotional security, this family, this stability, building something long term, investing long term. So they're conflicted with maybe how to start this, how to jumpstart this, how to propose this offer. So they're up in their head, which is why they had the strategy card, because they're really trying to strategize. 
and they're being told to listen to their intuition. This person wants you. They are at a distance from you, but they're traveling to see you. I feel like this is someone that, as we saw with the Five of Swords, you know, there was this energy of someone who could have been very self-absorbed, self, um, self-serving. Maybe they didn't recognize the connection for what it was, and that's what the confusion was. They were like, you know, kind of feeding themselves. Some There was like self-deception because before the Eight of Swords is the Seven of Swords, and that's someone sneaking around, betraying people's trust, doing things, you know, kind of backbiting. But now they're up in their head because now they don't know what to trust. Now they don't know what to do. And I feel like it's because they are coming out of some sort of partnership. So they're, you know, kind of a little anxious about things. They're literally up in their head a lot because you got the two of swords, the eight of swords. So they don't went from the two of swords to the eight of swords. But this is how they feel about you. They're confused, but they want to take action. This is someone at a distance. So why is them bones here for how Scorpio's person feels about Scorpio, the magician? So they're trying to manifest this new beginning, this new opportunity, this reconciliation with you. This is someone that you have history with. This is someone who may have done you dirty in the past. And this is someone who is at a distance that wants to right their wrongs. So they're going to do something. They're going to change the situation. They're manifesting this, this change. And it is a faded event, you know, and you're going to have to make a judgment call. Maybe they were m manipulative in the past, emotionally, mentally, psychologically. We have the Queen of Wands here, which flew out. So this person is, you know, what's hidden in the energies is there could be a wife. There could be a mother. This also represents like mistress energy. And we have the song, um, Let Me Ride. So with this Let Me Ride song by Dr. Dre, I feel like this person wants to get away from whoever they're with. I'm getting a sense that like whoever they're with, they're trying to leave that situation. They're in a marriage. There is a marriage because you got the, the empress and the emperor here. And then there's a queen of wands in the middle of this union. So there's a, there is some sort of mistress or a karmic that is in your person's life. And this person could be doing some sort of ritual work, spell work to keep your person there, which is why they're asking, let me ride. Maybe your person doesn't have a car. There's justice here. So there's a marriage that's ending. I feel like this person is ending um, a karmic relationship. They're ending this partnership. They were juggling. They're trying to decide. They're managing a lot. Maybe this is your energy. But what's hidden in the energy is the Queen of Wands, the Empress. They feel like you could be there. You know, maybe this is a karmic lesson. Someone is receiving karma. This also speaks to legalities. Maybe they're going through some sort of divorce, some sort of court proceedings. Let me turn this down. It's a lot of vulgar lyrics in that let me see what's behind that yeah someone was definitely juggling um between perhaps a wife and a mistress and this person is going through some sort of karmic lesson because maybe they discovered someone was juggling them this is having two options you know a lot of dual energy a lot of combative energy a lot of opposition a lot of competition and maybe someone was in a marriage. So let's see. Let me get one more card to clarify. Okay, these two cards flew up. We have the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. So this person definitely wants to come towards you. And perhaps this Queen of Wands is trying to block this connection. We got the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. So the Queen of Cups represents you, obviously. You're reflecting on a past love. But there is someone here who is you know, bringing some sort of wish fulfillment, balance, emotional balance to you and offer to you. This is like twin flame soulmate energy. That's that yin yang energy here. We did have that energy uh, come out in the reading. And remember, you had a new romantic cycle begins. So I feel like, you know, although, you know, you are a queen and you have reached the level of self mastery, you do reflect on the past a lot because you were hurt. But I feel like your angels, 
like I said before, they are sending in a new love to you. You are independent right now, self-sufficient, self-reliant. You're very grounded. You're a healer. You work hard and you've achieved a lot on your own. So whatever those financial constraints, that could be on your person's part. But I do feel like there's a lot of uh, divine messages coming to you, downloads. This is what all the talk is about because you are self-sufficient, self-reliant. People were preying on your downfall and you rose like the phoenix. And you're very, very successful. You are pre-emperor status here. So you know your worth and value. And I feel like others are now starting to see that, which is what's causing, you know, attraction. And I feel like because of everything you've been through, you're now being more uh, wise in how you choose your lovers and how you, you know, develop relationships. You're going to be more logical. You're going to do things more logically. You're going to pay closer attention to people's actions and words. You're not going to just let your emotions rule for you. I feel like you're also cutting out what no longer serves you. You're walking away from the things that no longer fulfill you, things that have left you feeling emotionally bankrupt. We have Eye for an Eye here playing by uh, Mob Deep, and it's 10 o'clock on the dot. So I'm sensing that you all are absolutely um, making a decision to leave someone out in the cold, and you're enjoying, because you're enjoying your independence. And this is what's going to make you more attractive. Self love makes you more attractive. And this is why people are hating. There's a lot of mad, you know, they're upset. Look at this. You're cutting all of that off. The Ace of Swords is clarifying the Five of, of Sticks. So you're cutting that out. You're going to give these people a piece of your mind. And you got the Queen of Pentacles. So someone who's, you know, trying to uh, talk because they have lips because they want what you have. You know, this is someone who's a gift of gabber, someone who's, you know, a person who likes to give lip service, who lies through their teeth. They're lying because they want, you know, this stability, the security. They see you as very abundant and very successful. And so they're trying to um, manipulate and connive. But I feel like you're cutting all of that gossip shit off. That's what people are gossiping about. You know, these individuals who are trying to be in a competition with you or who are being competitive, lying and gossiping behind your back in secret competitions, you know, hating what they can't duplicate hating you because you beautiful and you great. You cutting all of that out. You see them clearly. This Archangel Uriel card speaks to very intuitive, clairvoyant, psychic energy. You're tapped and tuned in. So you see everything. You got a brand new start. I feel like there's truth coming to light. Whatever was hidden is coming to light. This is some immature energy coming in. Don't believe the hype. This is that same person. I left you out in the cold. Now they feel left out in the cold because they have to witness you have all this glory. There is a genuine offer coming in from someone. This could be an offer of stability, security, something tangible that you could touch, hold, taste, feel. This could be a new relationship. This could be you learning a new trade, building your skill set, mastering your craft, sharpening your score, sword, holding, honing your skills. And this is you building yourselves up. This is you getting lost in something you're passionate about, a creative project. I feel eye for an eye is speaking to someone who may have abandoned you, now having to witness your glory. They're going to have to celebrate you. This is you reaching a high level of recognition, being rewarded, and all has to watch. <laughs> eye for an eye. And this person is watching. And they're also seeing and realizing who you are. Who you've always been. They just failed to see it. So Scorpio, this is your reading. I see someone from your past trying to hold on. But I see the divine is sending in someone new. And I feel like this is going to be almost like someone's karma. Because we had that Ma'at, Mama Ma'at justice came out. And Eye for an Eye is playing by Mob Deep, Raekwon, and Nas. And uh, this is someone who absolutely betrayed your trust, deceived you, lied and cheated to get what they wanted. And they were trying to keep you stuck in that cycle because they were holding on for dear life. But the divine was telling you to keep it moving because that person wasn't about shit. The divine was also telling you that you have to be thankful. You know, that attitude of gratitude, be thankful you survived 
whatever this cycle was. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, beloved. And you have overcome these difficulties. You've overcome, you've gained clarity, spiritual strength. The sun card came out, which was pretty much a recurring theme in the reading as I was, you know, doing the shuffling. This card kept wanting to come out. And I feel like it's because you have the illumination and the clarity. You have done your healing. This is a one card. One is the beginning. It's a new beginning. It's a dawning of a new day. It's a new opportunity to have something new. This represents healing, optimism. It represents you having joy and peace, success and stability and happiness more importantly. So you're choosing your happiness this cycle this time around in this cycle. And this is what the divine is very pleased with. And I feel like the divine is pleased. Look at this. I just said that. Looked at my cards and this card is here. The angels, your ancestors, they are approving you walking away, leaving someone behind. They are pleased with all that you've done. We have someone that's coming in that's going to be very romantic, chivalrous, charming. They're going to speak the same love language. We have Gawapali playing romantic. Sorry about that, y'all. So, yeah, I feel like this past person was very immature. And they had you caught up in a lot of, you know, that you, you was just like one of many. You was an option. They'd never chose you. They kept you feeling like you had to compete with other women. They was lying and gossiping and, you know, manipulating to get what they wanted. But you are hip to it now. You've, you've moved on. You have a new cycle beginning. There's new love here. You have a romantic cycle beginning. You have pos prosperity ahead. And the divine is acknowledging that you've worked hard for this. And the divine is telling you to stand erect, stand in your power, own your power. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Don't back down from any of those haters. Because whatever is coming in, the divine was also telling you to believe in the impossible. Because I feel like there's wish fulfillment here. And with that will of fortune card showing up along with them bones. This is all about divine timing. So thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. This was a long one. I wanted to delve deep. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you found that this reading resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. If you are new, thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found the reading resonated, please be kind. Stay a while. Hit that like, hit the share, hit the subscribe. Also hit the notification so that you know when I upload. I upload several times during the week for all of my returned subscribers. You already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning, tapping in. Until next time, Ashe. Peace, love, and light.